In this video, I'll be answering vector-based questions. So we know that OB is 2B because it's given in the question and OA is A and OC is 3A. So that means AC is 2A. So the question wants us to find OX in terms of lambda A and B. So we know that AX equals to OX minus OA. We can just split AX. So now let's find AD. AD equals to AC plus CD. Since we have AC, AC is 2A and CD is B. So OX equals to lambda AD plus OA. So that would be lambda 2A plus B plus with A. Now I'm just going to expand it, giving me 2 lambda A plus with lambda B plus A. Now I'm going to factorize it back, so that would be lambda B plus with A bracket 2 lambda plus 1. Moving on to the next question, it says given that BX equals to mu BC, find OX in term of mu A and B. So again, we can split BX to OX minus OB. So now let's find BC. In the question, BC equals to BO plus with OC and BO would be negative 2B and OC is plus 3A. So now OX equals to mu of BC plus with OB. So that would give us mu negative 2B plus with 3A plus with 2B. I'm just going to expand it, giving me negative 2 mu B plus with 3 mu A plus 2B. I'm going to factorize it back. So that is 3 mu A plus with B times with 2 minus 2 mu. Moving on to the next question, it says, hence find the value of lambda and mu. So we know that from the first question, OX equals to lambda B plus with A, 2 lambda plus 1. And from the previous question that we just did, OX equals to 3 mu B, sorry, it's 3 mu A plus with 2 minus 2 mu B. So now we can just equal these two equations like so. And from this equation, we can just derive two separate equations. So the blue is one equation and the red will be another equation. So that would be lambda 2 minus 2 mu. We can ignore the b. And for here it would be 2 lambda plus 1 equals to 3 mu and we ignore the a's so now I'm just going to substitute the lambda into the red equation or the second equation so substitute equation 1 into equation 2 
That would be 2 bracket 2 minus 2 mu plus 1 equals to 3 mu. Now we're going to expand it. So that would be 4 minus 4 mu plus 1 equals to 3 mu. 4 plus 1 is 5, and we'll bring 4 mu to the other side, which would be 7 mu. So mu equals 2, 5 over 7. Since we found mu, we can find lambda using that equation. So lambda equals to 2 minus 2 bracket 5 over 7. And that should give you 4 over 7. So mu equals to 5 over 7 and lambda equals to 4 over 7. Now on to our last question. And it says find the ratio of ax over xd. Now I'll just draw a line. So that's d. That's A and X is somewhere about here. Not the midpoint though. So we know that from question 1 it says that AX equals to lambda of AD. Since we already found lambda, we can just put that in. So that would be AX equals to 4 over 7 AD. So what we know now is a to x is 4 out of 7. So that's 4. And ad is 7. So now finding xd is very simple. You just subtract 7. Sorry, subtract 4 from 7. So that would be 3. So the ratio is 4 over 3, or 4 to 3. So AX, XD, AX is 4 and XD is 3. Or you could write it as a fraction, the way they've asked over here. So that is 4 over 3.